Greetings everyone, Zero here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some exciting updates regarding Pokemon Unite. Let's figure it out one by one. So when it comes to the updates, uh, first update is related to the Rayquaza, Shiny Rayquaza. So if you see, we are going to see Shiny Rayquaza in our Hia Sky Ruins battles. And along with that, we got Panic Parade as well. Panic Parade unlocks again. Uh, starting from today, uh, Feb 27. And coming to the new item available, there is a Hollowear effect spray you can use it to apply special effects to your favorite Hollowear. So, does that mean like uh, do we get any other special effects? Or uh, what it is exactly? We need to figure it out. Uh, I believe it is some kind of uh, a special effects to the Pokemon Hollowear moves. So, this could be very useful. Or, or, or this could be uh, some additional effect that our Pokemon Hollowware uh, might get. So definitely we need to take a look into this. And along with that, uh, Miraidan Sandwich Challenge begins. Yes. Uh, so, yes. Uh, so if you want to get a Miraidan Unite license for free, so this is the challenge that you need to complete every day. So this is uh, similar to the Jaishan challenge or Mewtwo challenge uh, so uh, uh, related to the dice and participation so make sure you check it out this sandwich challenge in order to get free unit license of Miraidan and you can also obtain the dice required to progress through the event from Panic Parade so we will also be getting the dice uh, that, that we need to uh, in order to complete the sandwich challenge uh, through Panic Parade so that is introducing draft pick and this is a new update uh, which you should be aware of and uh, we are going to have a draft pick in our ranked matches starting from the season 18 since anyway this is the start of the new season so we can expect this draft pick uh, to be available uh, starting from master 1200 rank and in draft pick each team can vote to ban pokemon after the banned pokemon are decided players select their pokemon in order but cannot select Pokemon that opponents and allies have already selected. So it is like in draft pick, if for example, let's assume uh, your opponent team selected Mewtwo, you cannot select Mewtwo. If, if, if the opponent team selected Mewtwo X, you cannot select Mewtwo Y. So that is the case. Okay. Uh, uh, also similarly, if, if your opponent Pokemon uh, selected Pikachu, you cannot select Pikachu sorry if either opponents or your team has banned a specific pokemon for example uh, your team banned urshifu so neither yours nor uh, opponent's team can select urshifu so that is one more thing you need to remember and coming to the uh, changes in the draft pick the number of opposite uh, the number of pokemon that can be banned on each team has been changed from one pokemon to two pokemon so now instead of banning only one Pokemon, we can also ban two Pokemon each team. So overall, we can ban like four Pokemon, right? So uh, the format also has been changed previously. Both teams simultaneously select one Pokemon to ban. Now the fourth and fifth place of each team alternate to select Pokemon to ban. Okay. And Battle Pass updates. Yeah, these are the some updates that we got. And yes, coming to the buffs and nerfs, uh, Dragabolt. So the following stats have been decreased critical hit rate. Okay, so seems like uh, this moves attack speed increase has been weakened. So Phantom Force has been weakened for Dragabolt. So whoever played Dragabolt, so make sure uh, you are not going to select the Phantom Force because it has been weakened. Of course, it won't be like completely nerfed or completely useless but it has been nerfed up to some extent so it won't give you max advantage whenever you battle uh, with Dragapult Phantom Force so keep that in mind and coming to the Dragonite Hyper Beam cooldown lengthened lengthened means uh, now uh, Dragonite's Hyper Beam will have more cooldown uh, so which is a bad for Dragonite users who love to play with uh, Hyper Beam. So, uh, 
I believe now out rays will shine uh, when compared to hyper beam. So keep that in mind for Dragonite uses. And Crusel's X Scissor. Damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decreased. Yeah, recently I have seen many people started playing X Scissor again. Uh, so with this new update, uh, since the damage has been reduced, uh, Crusel has been nerfed. Uh, so people will start using its other moveset. So let's see how, how opponent team will look like. And coming to the Lepion, Aerial Ace, effects on opposing Pokemon strengthened, cooldown has been reduced. Okay, Solar Blade, effects on the user strengthened. So it's like uh, Lepion has been buffed, uh, especially its Aerial Ace and Solar Blade. So let's see how Lefian look like because because so far whatever I have played Lefian uses really destroying their opponents but with this update they are unstoppable it seems but let's see how to counter them and coming to the Jaishan the following stats have been increased attack Jaishan sword sacred sword all right so metal club cooldown reduce so now sacred sword will make more damage than usual and Metacla uh, have reduced cooldown so you can more often use Metacla so both movesets uh, have been buffed up so let's see how Jaishan looks like because uh, with this new update uh, in ranked matches uh, you can use uh, EX Pokemons, EX Pokemons right uh, you can use unlimited EX Pokemons so Jaishan can really shine uh, this time so that that could be the reason why they buffed up Jaishan. And coming to the Blissey, Egg Bomb, Bug Fix. Okay, so uh, coming to the Blissey, Helping Hand, Effects on the User Strength End. Okay, so Strength End. So that means Helping Hand will basically increase the uh, movement speed and attack speed. So if it got Strength End means then definitely we need to, and we need to look at that. Uh, and one more thing is related to safeguard so shield effect got strengthened so basically they are encouraging uh, blissey users to uh, play with helping hand and safeguard which is good because this is a really interesting moveset uh, but we need to really take a look into the match uh, when we are playing with blissey like how it is playing so until then we cannot comment on that and coming to the Trevenant wooden hammer cooldown lengthened so basically uh, for travenant users of course even i am a great fan of wood hammer but that got nerfed and coming to the curse effects on opposing pokemon strength and this move hp decrease has been weakened okay so that means they have nerfed uh, wooden hammer of travenant and they have buffed uh, the curse Provenance curse so which is good and effects on all right so even pain split got buffed up right so they are expecting everyone to play with uh trevenant in this moveset like curse and pain split which is good uh let's see how trevenant how much tankier it will be definitely it will be a big boost for trevenant especially for other moveset lovers and coming to the muse karada double team cooldown reduced uh all right like like all the Muse Karada's moves cooldown was reduced. So this is mind blowing. So basically in this new season battle pass we are going to get dancing style Muse Karada. So they want everyone to buy Muse Karada Hollowware. So for that reason they have buffed uh, this Muse Karada. So let's see how this new Pokemon uh, with new Hollowware will perform in the ranked matches. And coming to the Pikachu, Volt Tackle, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased, Electro Ball, the same, so uh, they simply buffed up Pikachu's Volt Tackle composite, which is very good news for people who love to play with Pikachu, especially that Electro Ball finishing. So Pikachu got buffed, Amuse Karada got buffed, Ravenant got buffed, Blissey got buffed, and Coming to the Gyarados, yes, this is the recent released Pokemon. Uh, let's see, 
effect on the user's content. Playl damage dealt to the opposing Pokemon increased, which is really good. Um, Aqua Tail cooldown reduced. Nice waterfall uh, damage increased and uh, also cooldown reduced for a waterfall. Okay, uh, so this is what we need to keep in mind. Waterfall cooldown reduced as well as damage increase. So and coming to the unite move cooldown reduced. So they drastically boosted Gyarados ability. So let's see like whoever bought Gyarados uh, recently. So they should be in rampaging in whenever they play ranked matches. So we have to uh, handle Gyarados players very carefully guys. And coming to the Del Fox, Fire Spin damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increased. Cooldown reduced. Alright, so Fire Spin damage got increased and its cooldown got reduced. So uh, it is it is a minor buff. Not a, not, it will not bring major difference in the Del Fox gameplay, but definitely it's a well noted point that we have to consider. And coming to Mimikyu, uh, it's a bug fix. So and metagross uh meta mash bug fix compute and crash bug fix okay so seems like all other uh updates are related to the bug fixes only which is good uh so it seems like overall like most of the pokemon got buffed and very few pokemon got nerfed and even though they got nerfed in some move sets they are they uh, the same pokemon got buffed in other move sets so to put it simply, uh, the game developers have buffed many Pokemon in order to uh, make it on par with the EX Pokemon because EX Pokemon are also going to be participating in ranked matches from today onwards. So uh, they want other Pokemon to uh, the same level uh, in order to make the battles more interesting. Other than that, uh, we don't have any other updates and uh, yes, these are huge updates that we got and we need to see how this goes. Uh, we will meet again in our next video guys. If you really like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and give a like to my channel. Uh, I mean to my video and we will meet soon again in our next video. Till then, have fun. Bye.